Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about that. How do you place a measure in the column section of the matrix? Now, there are two things. I'm sure you know about them, but let me just reiterate. The first is that the matrix is nothing but the pivot table of Power BI. And the second thing is that when you create a measure, the measure cannot be used in the rows or the columns of the pivot table or the matrix. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about that. If you really wanted a measure in the column section of the pivot table, how can you actually do that? Let's start. All right, so I'm in Power BI and this is where I have created a very simple pivot table uh, where I have the year and then I have the category of the product and then against every single year and the category, I have a few measures calculated. Take a look at the measures. We have total sales first and then we have cost of goods sold. If you take off the cost of goods sold from the total sales, you're gonna to get to the gross profit. From the gross profit, if you deduct two more items, which is the marketing cost and the rent and administrative cost, you're gonna to get to the operating profit. Now, this is not generally the way in which you would like to present your income statement. Your income statement generally is vertical that comes from top to to bottom at the top you'll have sales items a couple of more items and eventually you will get to your profitability now this is not really the way that i'd like to see it and i'd like to see it just as the way that income statement actually appears so what do i do i actually change the layout of the pivot table these are all my measures i'm, I'm going to actually place all of these measures to the rows of my pivot table how do i actually do that i'm going to click on the pivot table go over to the visualizations pane in the format panel right here i will search for something called as on rows once I do that, there is this thing that appears that which is where you can take your values, nothing but your measures and place them on the rows. If you activate that, all the measures, they start to appear on the rows. Now it looks something closer to an income statement. So we have total sales, we have cost of goods sold and eventually running up till the operating profit level. Now, what I'd like to do further from here on is that I would like to be able to create a calculation which is where I want to show every single calculation what is it as a percentage of total sales for example I want to see that cost of goods sold what is it as a percentage of total sales gross profit what is it as a percentage of total sales so if you're thinking that you can actually create a measure to do that you'll actually run into two problems the first problem is that that let's just create a measure first so I'm just going to go over to the field in my dummy table I have already created a very simple measure which is this measure which is nothing but my total cost of goods sold divided by my total sales to find the percentage and if I actually drag this measure to my pivot table the first problem is that this measure is not going to come really in the columns it's actually going to come alongside all the other measures in the rows of the pivot table that's the first problem and the second problem is that I would have to now create a lot of measures technically one measure for every single item here so just as the way that I have created for cost of goods sold I will then have to create it for gross profit for marketing cost and so on and so forth so I don't really want to make that many measures and I want still this measure to be appearing in the column of the pivot table rather than in the rows of the pivot table so that's the problem that we're really trying to solve take this measure and make it appear here rather than appearing in the rows all right, I'm in a new sheet and that's where I have actually solved the problem and I'm working with the same pivot table that I created earlier. So take a look, we have the year here, we have the category, we have a bunch of measures here, we have the value and the new column that I have been able to create, which is nothing but technically a measure, that is my percentage of total sales. And I have picked up every single item and I have divided that by total sales and I found out the percentage value of total sales. Now this is something that you would not be able to do it in Power BI because I've used something special which is called as a calculation group to be able to solve this problem let's just hop over to tabular editor which is where you can create a calculation group and I'll, I'll show you how to set it up and how to solve this problem so i'm actually going to go to the external tools ribbon right here and click on tabular editor and that's going to open up make sure that tabular editor is giving you a bit of warning that you might want to save your model before you proceed it's a little risk here you might want to save the model so i'm just going to click on ok and we are in tabular editor now you can see that uh we first of all need to create a calculation group so how do you do one so right click on the model and then you say that hey i want to create a new calculation group and that's what you actually do now once you do create a calculation group you'll have to give it a name i have already created one calculation group and the name that i have given is pnl percentage contribution let's just go take a look at that so if i open that particular calculation group the first calculation item that i have created in that group is percentage total sales which is nothing but this particular column right here i'm just going to click on that and show you what dax have i written over there so you just have to focus on this particular item line number uh, five through line number eight so all that i'm doing is 
taking the account of the current measure inside of my pivot table and then dividing that by my total sales value. Now selected measure is a dynamic DAX that actually takes a look at what is the current measure that you're running inside of the pivot table. So if you're running currently COGS, it's just going to pick up that. If you're running gross profit, it's going to pick up that, so on and so forth. And divide all of these current calculations, wherever the calculation is happening, to the total sales calculation. Now, if you were to only write that part inside of the calculation group, you will also start to get 100% against sales because then sales is also going to be divided by sales itself, which is going to be 100%. Now, obviously, to not divide sales with sales, I have created a little if function sort of switch function here which is where I say that hey if the measure name is equals to total sales then just give me a blank otherwise we actually do this particular calculation and we also want to format that as a percentage and once I create that particular calculation group I hit a save on my tabular editor and the calculation group actually starts to show up in my field list and you can see that we have a calculation group appearing here and that name column which is nothing but a calculation is what I have dragged inside of my pivot table right here so if I actually click on the pivot table you can see that I have taken the name and I've dragged it right into my columns right here now the problem is that if you just create one of the calculation items here which is percentage total sales the only thing that you will end up seeing inside of your pivot table is nothing but percentage total sales you would not see the value nor would you see this additional calculation that I have created so along with the percentage total sales I also want to see what is the value of that particular measure so I will create another calculation item in the same group so I'm back again in my tabular editor and you can see that I have created one more calculation item here which is the value the value is nothing but whatever is the value of the current measure so I'm just saying hey evaluate the current measure which is the selected measure and then just show them as this particular format which is comma separated and in a dollar format and that's what I do I kind of drag that inside of that and once I click on save I now get to see two items value and percentage total sales now maybe uh, to explore my calculation further and to make my pivot table even more insightful I want to create a third calculation item which is what has been the change in the current value over the last year and you can see that I have created a third calculation right here which is percentage change over last year and this is a very straightforward calculation all that I'm doing is first finding the current year value then I'm finding the last year value and then eventually finding the percentage so divide the current year by last year minus one and this output should actually be in a percentage and I just do that and I keep that as a calculation item I hit save the changes get reflected into my power bi and that's where I get to see the third item right here all right using a calculation group as you saw that we were able to solve two problems problem number one is that we got rid of creating multiple measures if we were not to use a calculation group we would really have to create multiple measures so one for cogs as a percentage of sales the other one for gross profit as a percentage of sales so on and so forth we just set up one calculation group and that was done dynamically over all the other calculations the other layout problem that we were trying to solve is that place that particular percentage sales calculation and maybe other calculations as well inside of the column of of the pivot table that is not possible by default in the pivot table or generally in power bi you have to use a calculation group and then you can drag that in the column section of the pivot table all right that was all about calculation groups and how do you use one to be able to see a measure inside of the column section of the pivot table or the matrix and if you have any questions around these please feel free to put down a comment and i'll be glad to reply and one quick shout out about my dax and my power query course if you're starting out and you need help with dax or with power query start to learn the fundamentals first and then proceed on to learning more complicated concepts to be able to solve more challenging problems i would highly recommend that you take a look at my course it's going to be highly beneficial thanks so much for watching this and i'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.